93 year old George Montague lived through a time when Britain had much to learn about tolerance. When living as a gay man wasn't only frowned upon, it was considered criminal behaviour. The police in those days went out of their way to track you down. They enjoyed it. They relished it. George was one of thousands of men prosecuted for breaking a law that no longer exists. The offence of gross indecency was often used to punish men in consensual same-sex relationships. Some of these men committed suicide because of the aberration, because of the stigma. Since 1967, when the law was abolished in much of the country, Britain's gay rights movement has continued fighting for and achieving great change, like equal marriage legislation. But the criminal records of all of those convicted of obsolete sexual offences have stood until now. Britain's parliament is set to change the law so all of those who were convicted and have since died will be pardoned. It's being called Turing's Law after the celebrated World War II codebreaker Alan Turing, the tragic hero of the film The Imitation Game, starring Benedict Cumberbatch. Am I a criminal? After Turing's crucial work cracking the Nazi's Enigma code machine, he was prosecuted for having a relationship with a man and later killed himself. Turing was pardoned in 2013. Gay rights campaigners are pleased the records of others are now being restored as well. There are tens of thousands of stories just like Alan Turing's about lives that were really affected by um, these laws in the past. Um, I think um, I would say that uh, it's really important that it's happened um, uh, and that uh, people can draw a line. Receiving a pardon is a little trickier if you're still alive. Those like George Montague must first apply to have their individual cases investigated. But George says he doesn't want a pardon because that implies he did something wrong. I was guilty of being homosexual, but you can't be guilty of that. I was born, I was born that way. <laughs> George and others want an apology. The British government is being very careful with its language, expressing, quote, extreme regret. Activists don't think the new pardon arrangement is perfect, but they say it's a commendable step that goes some way toward fixing a long-standing injustice. Phil Black, CNN, London.